Hello, my name is Foreman Fred and I am the Chief Content Assistant at Construction Links Network, the only peer-to-peer -peer digital content sharing platform for the construction, building and design community. Welcome to Dispatch Number 61. This dispatch highlights the news, blog shares, announcements and videos shared on the Construction Links Network over the past week. Currently there are 6,899 searchable news items, articles and blogs published on the Construction Links Network platform and 1,227 videos in the online video gallery for your viewing pleasure including Battling the enemy Hazardous materials take a bite out of renovation and demolition projects, but employing the proper equipment and strategies creates a sound defense, which we all know is the best defense. Tighter standards for hazardous materials in buildings mean that anyone involved in renovation or demolition needs to become better at managing the issue. Learn more on tharris.ca Bulletin 273 Emergency Backup Power for Buildings Buildings equipped with an emergency generator provide a secondary source of electrical power whenever the incoming primary energy supply is disrupted or discontinued. Power outages for corporate businesses have a significant economic impact and the longer the business is without electricity, the greater the economic loss. Learn more on firepoint.ca Multi-residential developer Dexel adopts Procore to replace Point Solutions with a single platform. Some of the Point Solutions Dexel was using were either no longer being updated or did not fully address the organization's needs. It also needed a more sustainable way to store, manage, and distribute project documentation that was previously disjointed, difficult to access, and not centralized. Learn more on Procore.com. RAIC congratulates regulatory partners on creation of regulatory organizations of architecture. The Regulatory Organizations of Architecture in Canada represents the 11 provincial and territorial regulators of the profession of architecture in Canada. Each provincial or territorial regulator ensures the public interest is protected within their respective province or territory. Learn more on RAIC.org. We Dig You, Celebrating Industry Groundbreakers. Inspired by February as the month of love, and for the love of construction, Jas Sarah, VP Canada at Procore, has dropped the second edition of his new monthly newsletter, Breaking Ground, Hot Trends and Cool Takes on Canadian Construction. This edition is dedicated to celebrating some of the industry's groundbreakers who are blazing new trails and inspiring through their innovation. Subscribe and learn more on Procore.com. Keith introduces long-lasting, versatile J-Max floor. Keith Manufacturing Company has worked to adapt its proven walking floor technology to the needs of haulers. The latest invention for the company's trailer unloader is the steel, J-Max floor slat for highly abrasive materials. The new slat provides the versatility to haul a wide variety of materials, including municipal solid waste, salt, mulch and glass. Learn more on walkingfloorservice.ca April 1st deadline for proposed changes to 2024 NSPC The National Standard Plumbing Code Committee has extended the deadline to submit proposed changes to the 2024 NSPC to April 1st. Proposals accepted by the Technical Committee will appear in the 2024 NSPC. The NSPC uses an annual review process and publishes the complete code every three years. Learn more on IAPMO.org. Elevator Refinishing, Innovative Approach. Mere 8 hours of work and the brand new elevator is ready for use. Quick and easy elevator refinishing for a fraction of a cost. Renovation without dust and noise. Watch the video and learn more on Nelcos.com. Key Clamp Slope Fittings Key clamp pipe fittings and components join steel pipes together, simply and effectively, using slip-on components to create versatile and rigid tubular structures. Key clamp has been developed and refined for more than 75 years, resulting in an extensive range of pipe fittings and components suited for any need. Watch the video and learn more on KeySafety.ca. Podcast Using the five principles of leadership, there are a vast number of books written on leadership, with new ones emerging every day, yet still, one of my all-time favorites is The Leadership Challenge by James Kozes and Barry Posner. The Leadership Challenge is available in multiple languages, has sold millions of copies worldwide, and remains as relevant today as it did when it was released more than 25 years ago. Listen to the podcast and learn more on nesbittraining.ca. 
IAPMORNT promotes Anish Desai to Senior Vice President of Product Certification. A graduate of the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Desai has served in numerous roles during his 19 years with the IAPMO Group, starting as a product review engineer in 2003. After a promotion to Quality Assurance Manager handling accreditation audits, Desai assumed management responsibility for the certification department. Learn more on IAPMO.org. Grow your career in equipment rentals. Our industry is a $5 billion industry in Canada and it is growing every year. It employs roughly 17,000 people in positions from yard coordinator to senior management. Equipment rentals is an exciting, ever-evolving, always-changing business. Read the blog and learn more on cooperequipment.ca. Digital is the new blueprint. Decades ago, paper blueprints were common practice in the construction industry. But just as we, mostly, upgraded our horsepower from equine to turbo diesel, contractors are moving from paper to digital plans. The ease, efficiency, time, and money savings are just a few of the reasons why you should get on board too. Read the blog and learn more on StackCT.com. Pantera partners with Compass Prequel to offer best-of-class, integrated pre-qualification and bidding platform. Under this partnership, users of ProQual by Pantera will have direct access to Compass Analytics to enhance internal risk management by mitigating project and counterparty risk while streamlining workflows between the estimating, pre-con and risk teams. Compass is a pre-qualification tool that uses a data-driven model to provide unbiased assessment of subcontractor risk. Learn more on compass.bespokemetrics.com. That wraps up this dispatch. I'm Foreman Fred. Thanks for watching.